Hello guys. So we all know the wandering trader, right? The stupid, annoying guy that sells absolute garbage. Well, I was thinking, how far can you actually get in survival with the wandering trader? I'm thinking, let's test that out. So I'm gonna just set up real quick, a little, a chest full of everything he sells. I'm gonna see what we could do with it. Shut up. Uh, he was getting a little bit annoying. Okay, back to filling us up. Okay, so this took a little bit, but I got everything that the laundry trader can say, sell or trade. Um, he won't, of course, trade all of this at once. This is all the possible items you can get. So first off with the dyes, um, you can't really do anything with them. They're just dyes, so that's not really gonna help you. And then we got all the dirt. So you can plant for this. You can plant any of these saplings on it and be able to get wood. So now we have access to wood, which means we have unlocked wood tools from the wandering trader. Also moss, which means we have the azalea. So sugar cane, no sugar cane, but the thing is we need water. And how are we gonna get water? Well, the wandering trader sells sand and he also sells buckets of fish. So now, so now we have things like sugar and paper which can help, I guess. Um, but with wood, we have wheat seeds, pumpkin, beetroot, and melon. Which means we have a sustainable food. We have food that we can grow. Yeah, so we sell sand. We use for building blocks. Um, the thing that you get stuck on, though, is you can't make a furnace. Um, but I'm pretty sure with pointed dripstone, you could craft a crafting table with the wood. You can make dripstone blocks. So this can be useful, um, if you want to replicate any water. But again, there's no furnace, which means no cooking. So originally I'm like, oh, so we can't cook anything. We could just make campfire. You need coal and charcoal for that, which you cannot make um, using this. Um, but then I was, I got me thinking with zombies, you can kill them. You can get iron, carrots and potatoes, right? But if you're on hard difficulty, you can get tools right so get some iron tools but so now that you have iron you can make things like a cauldron which you can get water but you already have a bucket and you could also make armor also you kill spider you get wool or you get string you make wool which means you can make a bed or banners but the only big thing is stone you have no way of getting stone except if you cure a zombie villager but you can't get blazes so this is a kind of different video but i just wanted to put this out there and see what you guys think how far you can get in the survival world with only if you have infinite emeralds you can't make emerald blocks but you have infinite emeralds infinite of whatever wandering trader sells how far can you get in a minecraft world so yeah thanks for watching and subscribe